Yo, what's going on YouTube? Boy came well, welcome back to another video. As you guys can see from the title and the thumbnail, we have ourselves rating our viewers' teams. So, guys, obviously the Centurions promo is towards the end. And, uh, yeah, we haven't done a uh, rating viewers' teams in about a month or so since the start of the game. So, um, yeah, it's been about a month and we're going to be rating our viewers' teams from 1 to 10. If you guys are new to the channel, then drop a little like and subscribe. We are on the road to 4,000 subscribers. We're grinding, guys. And, uh, yeah, this is my current team at the moment. You guys saw my coin tally. Actually, you probably didn't see because of my face cam. But I've got about 1.7 mil uh, sitting there as well as this team. I'm still currently grinding this, um, this Alessandrini, guys. So, uh, yeah, just imagine this card with plus ones all across all of the stats. And pl imagine plus ones, okay? And, uh, or maybe plus twos. I think he gets plus two pace or something like that. I think he gets a lot more pace. But this is the team nonetheless. Um, you can rate my team from one to ten if you don't want to. Obviously, you don't have to. Um, we did have Patellas, but we sold her because she went down in price. And I did lose a lot of coins on her. So, yeah, I'm going to just wait for her to her price to rebound or to go down a bit lower so I can buy her back again. But, yeah, this is the team overall. Looks really, really nice in my opinion. And, uh, yeah, like I said, rate my team from 1 to 10 in the comment section down below. And we're going to go through the teams right now. We have about three or four teams to rate. So, uh, yeah, stay tuned. All right, first team, guys. So, first team is from my good friend, Kofi. You guys may watch him already. Um, yeah, man. This is his first. This is the first team, man. We're starting off right. This is a crazy team. You guys can see he's doing Evolution Depay. So, we can only judge off max, obviously, the max rating. Um, Depay 87 rate, I believe. But yeah, man, this is a crazy team. In my opinion, I actually think this team is low-key better than mine. Um, is it better than mine, actually? I, didn't, I think my team is more meta than his. That's definitely for sure. However, his team is definitely more fun, if that makes sense. Um, but yeah, I think my team is a lot more meta than his, 100%. Um, but yeah, man, his team is crazy. I mean, he's got a crazy backline, amazing backline, to be fair. Cancelo is a little bit slow. Um, I will say that. He is a little bit slow. He might get caught off um, or caught you know, off guard couple times on counter attacks Bruno Gomarish I don't know if he actually uses Bruno Gomarish because he hasn't won one chemistry so I don't know like I said I don't know if that's actually what he uses um but yeah Gayoro absolutely amazing the one of the best DMs in the game um Bamba is a really good evolution as well I know he likes him a lot obviously I did not do him but um yeah he's still a very nice choice Correa looks absolutely amazing he's always had one of the best attackers in the, in the start of FIFA like every FIFA um including EFC 24 he is literally one of the best attackers in the game. Um, you know, obviously, he's very nice. He packed Musiala as well, which is a crazy pack pool. Obviously, absolutely incredible. I love his goal card. And, uh, yeah, I can only imagine what this one is because he's got plus one weak foot. And he's obviously got the pie. So, I'm going to rate his team a nice, solid 9 out of 10, guys. I think for the time of the year, obviously, he's, he doesn't spend crazy amount of FIFA points on the game. Um, compared to Bateson and Manny and Orzio and all these people on their main accounts. So... Yeah, I mean, just judging off this team, I mean, his whole team is untradeable. Bro, it's a 9 out of 10. Easily a 9 out of 10 team. Um, I think the only thing that he needs to change is probably Bruno Gamares to get a different player on Kem and Jao Cancelo because of his speed. Other than that, guys, I think this is a crazy solid start to the video. I think his team is absolutely amazing. Like I said, 9 out of 10, 100% deserved for Kofi. All right, we do have another team from my friend Mosin. Um, guys, I'm not going to be able to do too many teams. So if you guys do want to send your teams, then be sure to send it through my Twitter, which is in my YouTube banner. Um, if you want to just check out my YouTube channel, and then you'll see it in the banner. Um, if you are not on um, PC and laptop, you will probably not see it. Um, but yeah, and you can send it to my PS and it'll be in the description. All right, guys, second team. So basically, this is what Alessandrini will look like maximum, guys. So max style Alessandrini looks absolutely incredible. Um, still, obviously, like I said, I haven't done it myself. But he obviously done Alessandrini. Um, he's got Hingman Son in the team. He's got Osman Dembele and Joe Cole. I think that attack is absolutely incredible. Um, obviously, he's lacking a bit of skills, but Joe Cole is incredible in game. Um, Alessandrini, I have not tried maximum, so I can't say too much. I'm still grinding him myself. Um, Hingman Son is amazing and Osman Dembele is amazing. Uh, Barella seems like a good card, however, he's a bit expensive. SCN is absolutely incredible, I already know that for sure. And his defense is really, really nice. However, however, guys, Damian. Damian is the imposter here. Also, Loris is a bit of an imposter as well. And uh, Marcus Lorente is good as well. Um, Bench is solid as well, guys. He does have good untradeables. He's got Rashford untradeable, Araujo, Hakimi, Davy. So he's got very nice untradeable cards. And yeah, man, what well, I'm going to make this team out of 10. Is it better than Kofi's team? Oh, I don't know. It's a difficult one, you know. I think I'm going to give this an 8.5 out of 10. I think I'm going to rate this a solid 8.5. I think, for me personally, Lloris is terrible. 
I think Damian is terrible. Um, and for me, Barella is still an unknown entity in this game for me. I have not played against him. I have not used him. I don't even know if he's good in the game. I know his goal card was a little bit... It was alright at the start of the game. But I do not know if he can compete. Um, I know Kofi's midfield is better. Um, he did have Gayoro and he did have Bruno Gomares. Um, it was a little bit defensive and Musiala as well. So his midfield is clear. Um, but yeah, I'm going to rate this 8.5 out of 10. I think this team's great. Like I said, I think he needs to just improve these two. Um, uh, Larice and Damian. I think they're just not cut out for this game. Damian has like 68 strength or 70 strength. It's terrible. Larice is trashing game all the time. So yeah, man, I'm going to rate this 8.5 out, out of 10. And um, yeah, into the next one. All right, next one. This is a crazy, crazy looking team, guys. Ignore this uh, Macarena Patelas. If you guys know, you know. Because I have her in my club. Uh, she's max rating. I can actually show you guys quickly. Um, this is what she looks like when she's max. Uh, oh, she's not even on my bench. Never mind. She, never mind, guys. Um, but yeah, his team is really solid. Defense is absolutely amazing. Um, I think he needs to sort out the chem styles because he's got um, Hakimi on a backbone. And he's got Campbell and Mendy on no chem styles. So that's a bit of a weird one. His midfield is alright. However, very, very attacking. I think his <laughs> his midfield is very attacking. No defense whatsoever. So I think it's a bit of an L. His attack, I don't know. I actually don't know why Callum Wilson is there. Um, I'm trying to figure out if... Okay, so he has Zola on the on the reserves. So it looks like he doesn't like Zola. Um, if he did have Zola in, let's just say he had Zola in. Um, I think his team will be decent. I think it will be a 7, seven out of 10. Uh, like I said, guys... Pirlo and Bonatti together, they're both very similar players. If I was him, I would only choose one of them. I wouldn't have both of them in my team. It's, it's, a, it's either this or that. You can't have both, in my opinion, unless you have a DM behind them. Um, so, yeah, I'd say uh, definitely get rid, of, get rid of one of these midfielders. Um, Macarena Patelas is good when she's upgraded. Griezmann is obviously good. George Best is good as well. And Wilson is terrible. You have to get rid of that and get... Um, a nice little player, man. You might have to put Zola back in, play him Cam or something. I don't know. But, yeah, I mean, I, you know, I think 7 is a bit harsh. I'm going to put 7.5 because he's actually got good players all around the pitch. Apart from that Callum Wilson, um, that Portellas needs to get upgraded and that midfield is a bit shocking, to be honest, uh, defensively. So, I'm going to rate it a 7.5 out of 10, guys. Um, like I said, not a bad team, but he's got the right players. However, he just doesn't have the execution in terms of the other positions. Uh, unfortunately and um, yeah we're gonna do one last team all right last team tizzy what you got for me so seems like a good team let's see the bench bench is decent um yeah i mean defense is solid marquinhos is all right in game i think he's actually you know the thing is with marquinhos right he's actually got really good play styles um he's just not the strongest center back which is a bit unfortunate however i think i know his trailblazers really really good um hakimi's good I'm not sure about that chem style um blanc is good I don't like him personally. You know, you guys know me, man. I have a love-hate relationship with this guy. Kachawi, I think, is the best left-back in the game. Um, midfield is incredible. Gayoro. If you have Gayoro in your midfield, it's an automatic W for me, personally. Because I think Gayoro is the best DM in the game. And uh, Dirk Kout is also very good as well. Not as good as his World Cup card last year. However, they are going to be bringing out some Champions League heroes um, eventually this month. So, we'll see what comes out with that. Um, this Sissoko card, Road to the Knockout. Um... I don't know. Is he still able to get upgraded? I think he is. He looks like a good card. He's got 99 agility and 90 balance. He is 5 foot 10. Five, um, four star, four star. Looks alright. I don't think he's totally meta in my opinion. Osman Dembele is great. I love him in game. And he's got Brolin and Robbie Keane. In my opinion, I think they're both too similar of strikers. I think he has to have one of them. Kind of similar with the other situation with um, with um, the, the last team. With Bon Matti and Pirlo in the same midfield. I think he needs to pick either one of them. I don't think both of them really work together. Like I said, they're quite similar. The way they play, they're quite short. They're finishers. Um, you know, good tidy dribbling. So I think it'll be important maybe to try and invest in a different attacker. Um, and definitely a different winger. Because I don't know how good that Sissoko really is. I don't know if he'll be able to take you over the edge in champs or rivals. Um, but yeah, overall, I think this team is better than the last team. Just judging off the fact that this team is a lot more organised. Um... So yeah, I'm going to give this team an 8. I'm going to give this team an 8. I'm going to give this team an 8 because it's worse than Mosin's team, but it's still better than the last team we had. And I think Kofi's team is definitely the best that we've seen today. So definitely going to be an 8 out of 10, guys. And um, yeah, that's going, to be, that's going to be it. So if you guys did enjoy this video, then please do leave a like. Comment down below what you want to see next. And of course, if you guys want me to see your teams, then be sure to send it to my Twitter or my PSN. 
Um, if you guys want to know, then you can just ask in the comment section down below. And if you if if you want, really, you can send in your footbin. Um, you know, you can send your team via footbin, so you can do your footbin team um, on Squad Builder, and then you can put the link in the comment section down below as well. And we can also go through that on stream or something. So let me know, guys. We want to see you next, and peace.